Hey everybody, welcome back. What a weekly this week. Delightfully devilish. Uh, stop me if you've seen the same squad a thousand times before. I'll be a subtle stinker. That's when you have a fart that is silent but deadly, I would say. Are we past 30 seconds? Is the YouTube uh, algorithm smart enough to detect potty humor? Has Chad GPT gotten there yet? I don't know. They passed the LSAT, but I know a few lawyers and they don't have that great of a sense of humor, honestly. What the best part is, lawyers, what are you going to do? Are you going to get mad and thus prove that you can't take a joke? Or are you going to laugh and say, yeah, that's true, he got me. There's no way out of the box, brother. That's what happens when you're going up against the best of us. Okay, now listen. I would love to purchase equipment, but it's just not the way it shook out for us. Instead, we're kind of forced to run a squad that is probably a little lacking. But... The fish leveling up next time, very valuable. And meat showing up in the shop. I'm not crying yet, you're crying. We do lose this one, we're gonna be at four life. I don't think that we had any other way to play that, quite frankly. I think we, we, we're stuck in the moment we can't get out of. We love a, a weasel. Four squatted, a little spooky, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Was there meat in that shop? Don't tell me. I rolled so fast. <laughs> Either way, we have an economy set up now. Other people are getting 10 gold per turn. No, no, no. This one, this one goes to 11. And look, we won anyway, okay? Because we we're in super losers bracket. No disrespect to crazy 888. I was right there with you. Meat. Meat is what we take. One meat, no seagull. I got the seagull got me hard stuck last time. It's not necessarily entirely the seagull's fault. Great use of the pug, brother. You got me, you got me shook, like Sean Desmond. My overcommitment probably was the issue, but look at this: more meats, a giraffe. I would say it's early enough to be relevant, but I'll roll once just in case. <laughs> I would say, obviously you're going to freeze, and then you're going to take your buff. I'm going to say we're going to sell you to buff the weasel, and then more meat on the giraffe next time. And I think we want the squad to look like this. Then next turn, we level the fish, which possibly means we can sell the pug, because the pug's not doing anything for us. And before you know it, we are, you know, like rolling start. You know what I'm talking about? Daytona? Yes, no, maybe so. You take the meat. Armadillo's kind of tempting if we can get the squad to look right. Would I be insane to run this crazy squad? <laughs> I answered my own question in the question. Gives one HP to everybody and two HP to the leech at the cost of one HP to himself. That's selfless, you know? You gotta put some respect on, on his name. Fair trade. Very unfair trade. Very, very unfair trade. They put me in the mirror match, man. Do me a favor. Take one of these. I'm still a believer in the meats. Nobody's getting hard swapped here. I still think this squad is doing something. I'm also hopeful, like, I can't sell any units, and yet I'm like, oh man, I sure hope we can pivot to some good units soon. What good units, Ben? Aquaman? See, this is more what I was thinking was gonna happen. Like, I was thinking we were, like, destined to win easily. We have more money. Make sure you do something with it. Let's roll that. Simply don't need you. At some point, we gotta get rid of... Really, at this point, you should get rid of the fish. The duck has better stats. By one. <laughs> I don't know why it looks... 7-10 looks so much better than 7-9. Fish has no ability. Fish has got to go, but it's got to be for something worthwhile, okay? A moose. 
<laughs> Goaded combinations, NL and the Moose. For now, we're just going to take our 1-1 buff wherever it goes. Next round, we're going to have a lot of money. We're going to be on one life, potentially. We're going to get some chocolate. And then, I don't know, we're going to figure out the rest from there, I suppose. Math. The math is mathing. Thank you. Huge buy. Although I could just dump you as well. And then run multiple moose for a minute. At your expense. Yes. At, well, but it is nice you're giving it. But you're giving everyone, what, two health per turn? There's something to that, isn't there? Like, that's... That's not bad. Now, do we want to dump something for a cheetah? If we're ever going to do it, now's the time. Cheetah has not been, like, crazy good this week, but... Chocolates? Chocolates? Thank you so much for the chocolate. I really do appreciate it. <laughs> we need levels like crazy. And why don't you just take the opportunity to possibly do double damage? Okay, Cheetah's getting buffed. If Moose gets to level 3 in a timely fashion, we could have something cook in here, but I think we're starting a little bit behind stat-wise relative to the average uh, squad right now. Or are we? Or are we? Huge. We'll take that. Five wins. I don't really care for you. More chocolates. Green peppers go crazy, but the, we, we are not going to put this on the armadillo for what I hope are obvious reasons. Another moose. God, this would... You could save my life right now. <laughs> How about we put this on you? We buy an avocado. We accept our 3-3 buff. We got more econ next time. Next time we could just get some chocolate, get a level 3 moose. We're off to the races, maybe. We're scaling a little bit. We got a level 3 moose. We got leech armadillo scaling, which is unusual, but not necessarily bad. Okay, they almost went infinite. I would not have been a fan of that. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, I'll take it. I'm happy to take my draw, honestly. I feel like our squad is still just getting ready to cook. Freeze it, freeze it. I would freeze it and then... You, honestly, why don't you just take a pita on yourself? That's like a big one. Some chocolate? Kind of feel like, why don't you take a pita on yourself as well? You don't really need a pita. Chocolate? No chocolate on this one's burning me up, man, but it is what it is. You eat, you get plus 15 HP. You may actually survive an attack. You may not, but you may. You can at least, like, you know, burn up a steak. We've made their peacock so strong. And yet, it, we're, 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 we pulled ourselves out of mediocrity, I think, and now I'm not feeling so bad. I think the moose is starting to work. Yes, yes, yes. Another pita would go great on you, honestly, but so would a steak. Huge. Chocolate. Oh, thank you so much. You're too good to me. <laughs> Send it. Oh, baby, I'm starting to believe. Next level, Leopard, just to, like, obviously do more damage, yes, but help. Breaking more equipment would also go crazy. No doubles. Thank you. I'm unstoppable. Nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. Seven wins, two life remain. Freeze me. I would go straight into the avocado. We respect Econ in this household. Not that interested in the in the ferrets, to be honest. I would take a second avocado. The only other thing we would do is like buy one ferret, but it doesn't change the moose buff we get this turn. It's not a ferret, by the way. It's a weasel. I'm getting my similar but not the same animals confused. What a shot! I mean, you broke a green pepper on a very relevant unit. Okay, okay, you got me. I'll give you some credit. You, you got some good equipment there. I'll take my draw, and every draw does... I mean, it's scary because the game gets a lot harder. We'll take a stake on you. Freeze good units for the moose buff. Not good enough. 
I think you're actually just good enough to buy. You're good enough to freeze. Chocolate? No chocolate. I would rather just have a steak on you, but only if we don't get chocolate. Freeze me. Chocolate? Chocolate? No chocolate? Then we take a steak on you. We're really not good against spawning teams. I mean, PETA is good against spawning teams, but um, our stakes fizzle a little bit. Then again, our armadillo kind of goes hard against spawning teams, as you can see. We're getting to eight. I mean, if we get this cheetah leveled up and we can break more equipment easier than our opponents break our equipment, I'm not feeling too bad. I actually think you would benefit from a stake. Huge. Double freeze. Roll once. I will take... I will not take my 2-2 buffs to buy a chocolate. We need to get better buffs than 2-2. Nope. Yes, thank you. I'm at 3 6, six buffs versus 3 2-2 two, two buffs. That's... it. Or, sorry, 3-5-5 five, five buffs instead of 3-2-2 two, two buffs. Some market difference. Some market difference in stats. Now, versus buying one chocolate, as it depends if you get the chocolate that you need in order to get your leopard to level three on the next turn, but we're definitely cooking. This is, it, it might even be cooked. Double freeze. It's a freeze. We, we're not too picky about foods, I would say right now. We just need to buy something useful. We're not taking a 1-1 one, one buff. I'm rolling the dice. 4-4 four, four buff? With one roll, I'm not rolling the dice. I'm stopping right there. You tell you, I, I'll, the dealer recommends you, uh, you stay. Or you, you hit. I also like to live dangerously. Hi, my name is Richie Cunningham and this is my wife, Oprah. I don't know how to follow this. I'm just being honest. I know that we're going to lose this one. We're going to go to uh, the super lethal. Go ahead. Freeze me. No. Yes. And I'm spent. Nope. 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 Going offline, guys. <laughs> there were other things we could have bought, but I thought for sure we could do better than a tier three in this spot. Little did I know. But this doesn't look too bad. In fact, it doesn't look bad at all. We absolutely got there. That's a 10 piece. Feeling good. Feeling good. Some people probably thought we, lo oh. <laughs> we lost the plot a little bit there. I would disagree. I think that we found the plot. I like this for anti-goose protection. Let me be like a, we'll just call it the big beavers. Nothing weird about it. This, they did a great job on this weekly. To have at least like a few different dominant archetypes. They did well. I'm proud of them. Why? No, that's that role was actually fine. We're going to have a cone snail level. Otter for stats. I mean, it plays very well with our meat-focused philosophy. Me opening a restaurant in the United States of America. I'm joking! Kind of. It's kind of the beauty of America. Is that they probably have, like, the highest proportion of obligate carnivores in the world, I would think. Close to it. But also, probably, the more, more vegans, if I had to guess, than that maybe not any country on Earth, but then a lot of countries on Earth. It's a land of, of extremes, for sure. Has anyone thought of this before? We're going to get a leech for lack of uh, better options, really. Um, leech peacock, kind of interesting. A little spooky, but also interesting. I don't think I've ever... I haven't run it this weekly, that's for sure. So you're going to be like a 
Are you going to be a 6'10"? 6'8". It's good enough. That's pretty tall. We have to figure out how to get you some HP permanently, though, because otherwise you're going to be like a glass cannon. I would. Meat would also go hard. It always does. Go ahead and take some meat. You obviously don't need it. I'm not really rolling for anything here. I'm waiting for garlic for next time. So I'm just going to put a cupcake on you. Garlic on our peacock so it becomes that much more survivable. Oh, we're, we're doing something special here. At least for right now. That, that could change pretty quick. It's been known to. I wonder if we just got, like, in the rest of the squad, if we just got a little buy-sell going. And you know what? What if we just lollipopped you? And then kept the buy-sell running? It's weird to have, like, a leech that's acting in service of another unit. Straight up, I think garlic is, is more important than anything else right now. And I think this Peacock solos other teams. It's only round five, man. It's going to be a 10-14 with garlic. With club sauce. Two flamingos. It may not solo everything. <laughs> we may lose. <coughs> Definitely did not solo everything. And we lost. So that hurts, but... I would gladly I would gladly give you some more HP and then now maybe we just throw the the armadillo in there we have the leech suck the armadillo instead because our peacocks already like looking pretty clean and it'll build more it doesn't need much more than 14 attack at this stage of the game I'm still very very pleased with the squad It is a tough sell, though. What if we, like, sold? I still think we like it like that. Like this, like this. Leech takes the meat. By the way, horrible sound. I don't know what they were thinking with that sound. So now, everybody will get one health every round instead of the peacock getting four attack. I think that this, I think that they're both good options. I think that this one is better right now. Maybe I'm right, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm saying, my God, what have I done? Now the leech is gonna get a little stronger, a little faster. And I think this is the squad. Like, I don't, I don't think we're, we're pivoting to wolf turkey. Like, that's just insulting to this beautiful tapestry we've woven together here. Pretty strong lion. Would be a shame if it died to a cone snail or something. Pretty strong kangaroo. Would be a shame if it died to my armadillo. The problem is... You know what the difference is going to be on this one? We need to get equipment pilt. The lynx can go. And we're going to go cow. Feed the peacock. Cow, feed the peacock. And then imagine... If we got another freaking cow. We're saying no to the moose because I don't think we're, we have a long-term focus on where we're going on this run. We're going to say buy some more milk. And then honestly, we're rolling. I want chocolate, but not so much for the cow. I want organic cow-based milk. I don't want any oat milk. There we go. And then we buy waffles for the cow. And then we buy waffles for the cow. This is our rushdown mode now. There's no like creativity going on here this is just straight up like can we make this happen before other squads outscale us and i think the answer is definitely yes because we're still outscaling most other squads i think so now why don't you give me a level two here then a level two cow of course it only summons one super milk because i already previously got a level i'm so stupid and about a waffle i'm not stupid anymore be careful who you call stupid in middle school 14.3 seconds ago. 
Now everybody's getting two attack per turn. And as far as I'm concerned, now we just pivot the whole squad except the peacock to um, stakes. We just pivot him to stakes. I like what you got going on with the, the crane there. It didn't work out this time, but it is a very clever setup. I give you props for your clever setup. Tell you what, I probably would just go cow. Well, you know what? I would go pita and then cow. And then you're already so close to 50. I'm going to give you one milk. I'm going to give the other one to the armadillo. I don't think we need any more levels there. I don't want a fortune cookie. Just in case we lose this one, which I, I don't think we will, a pita on our armadillo would go crazy. And then, of course, we're rolling for, like, cows and waffles. But I'm, I'm overconfident. I guess the result determines whether or not it was overconfidence or confidence. But, like, I'm very confident. Let's put it that way. Strong. You got a, you got a strong squad there. It turns out I was overconfident. <laughs> That stings because I was so ready to be uh, vindicated, but alas, here we are. PETA on you. And then next round, we can start getting some stakes out there. I still think the PETA on you makes sense. We don't really need this. I know it seems crazy to not take it, but if anything, we could use some attack if we don't get a waffle, which we did. <laughs> Well, well, well. Honestly, why don't you take some extra... Well, you're getting extra attack anyway. We need stakes. We need stakes. We got, we got great HP. We need some stakes now. But for round 12, the squad is, is amazing. We just, like, took a... We, we no-sold a... Uh, a level 2 hawk to the face. I'm not scared of your kangaroo. That's a well-deserved 10-piece, as far as I'm concerned. I'll take it. Hey, thanks for watching. We got a 9 and a 10-piece there. I always love when you can make a cow waffle build work. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya!